Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about power series in Calc 2. Just so you know, these are series that have X in them. So, the first thing we need to know is the two families of power series we can have. The first family is the geometric family, which will look something like this. Let's say we have 2X to the N power. This is in the geometric family because N is in the exponent and the exponent only. The other kind of family we have for solving power series is going to be the ratio test. Ratio test will look something like this. So you notice I still have to the power of n. Obviously the 3x minus 2 is different, but that's not the important part. The important part is that I have that n in the denominator, which stops it from just being a normal geometric series. So we're going to need the ratio test for that one. And so what we typically do with power series, we usually find the interval of convergence and the radius of convergence. So that's going to be the question for all the power series we solve today. What's the interval of convergence, which I usually call I, and the radius of convergence, which I usually call R. So for the first one, it was the series from n equals one to infinity of two x to the nth power. So because this is geometric and what we're saying is R equals two x, I need the absolute value of r to be less than one in order to converge. So that means the absolute value of two x is less than one. And what I do from here every time is whenever I have absolute value and I wanna solve for x, I'm gonna sandwich this between negative one and positive one and it looks like this. This is how we deal with the absolute value signs. We do this every time. And now I just divide both sides by two. So negative one half less than x less than one half, and this is basically my answer. The interval of convergence, which we usually write in interval notation, will be negative one half to positive one half, and it's parentheses because I do not want to include those points. It's not less than or equal to. Geometric series will never be less than or equal to. They will always be less than, which means it's always parentheses, and this is my interval of convergence. The radius of convergence is really easy. It's gonna be one half but this was an easy example. The way you do it in general is you take the high number minus the low number divided by two. So in this case, the high number is one half minus the low number, negative one half divided by two. One half minus negative one half is positive one, still divided by two. So the radius of convergence is one half. By the way, whenever it's centered at zero, like the middle point here is clearly at zero, then the radius of convergence is just going to be one of these numbers, like one half, for instance. And there we go, there's our answer. And we love geometric series because those are the easier ones. On the other hand, we have the ratio test, not nearly as much fun, but the one I have today is the series from n equals one to infinity of three x minus two to the nth over n. So basically, if it's not geometric, then it has to be ratio test. And I know it's not geometric because of this n in the denominator. So I do the ratio test. Remember what the ratio test says. Limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value. The numerator is going to be n plus one term. So that means three x minus two to the n plus one, just divided by n plus one. And then also divided by, the denominator is just gonna be the original series. So three x minus two to the n over n. And now what I like to do is I like to multiply by the reciprocal because this is a complex fraction. So it will look like this. Limit as n goes to infinity of absolute value, definitely keep that for the whole problem, of 3x minus 2 to the nth times 3x minus 2 to the first. You notice I broke it up. The n plus 1 became this times this. We did the same thing in the ratio test before power series and it still holds true now divided by n plus one, and now times the reciprocal of my denominator, which is gonna be n over three x minus two to the n. So I noticed that the three x minus two to the nth cancels. This three x minus two does not cancel, but I am gonna move it out in front. I'm allowed to do that because this is the limit as n goes to infinity. So since three x minus two does not have n in it, it means I can pull it out in front, when I pull it out in front, I need to keep it in absolute value because the absolute value still is important. And then limit n goes to infinity, absolute value of what's left, 
just n over n plus 1, which I know my limits at infinity. This is just going to be 1. So its absolute value of 3x minus 2 times 1. And what we remember from the ratio test is that this needs to be less than 1 in order to converge. So honestly, this times 1 here doesn't even matter. I really have absolute value, 3x minus 2, less than 1. And because I have absolute value, I am going to turn it into a sandwich. Negative 1, less than 3x minus 2, less than positive 1. Now I'm going to add 2 to every side. So positive 1, less than 3x, less than 3. And then finally, divide everything by 3. Final answer will be 1 third, less than x, less than 1. Actually, I should not say final answer because this could be right, could be wrong. I don't know if I want to include 1 third and 1 yet. So to do this, we are going to check the bounds. The bounds being 1 third and 1. And so what that means, I first check x equals 1 third. And to check it, I plug it back into my original series. So 3x minus 2 to the n over n. And I'm replacing x with 1 third. So when I replace that with 1 third, 3 times 1 third is 1, and 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So really this is negative 1 to the n over n. And you may notice, hey, this is just the alternating harmonic series. And you'd be correct, because the normal harmonic series is 1 over n, and to make it alternating, it's negative 1 to the n in the numerator. And the alternating harmonic series famously converges, because it passes the alternating series test, so we say converges. And because it converges, then going back up here, I'm allowed to say less than or equal to for the one third. And that's important because it's going to change my interval notation. Now I'm going to check the other bound, x equals 1. So check x equals 1. I do that by plugging 1 into my series. So 3x minus 2 to the n over n. We're saying x is 1 now. 3 times 1 minus 2. That's just going to be 1. So 1 to the n over n. And this, the 1 to the n doesn't matter. That honestly just kind of reduces to 1. So this is the series of 1 over n. This is the harmonic series, which famously diverges. So then going back up to my bounds, I would say less than 1. I do not want less than or equal to. And so then finally, the way I would write my interval of convergence would be 1 third to 1, like this square bracket around the one-third, parenthesis around the one, and then the radius, well, this one's not going to be so straightforward. It's not one or one-third. I have to do the high number minus the low number divided by two. So that's one minus one-third, which is two-thirds divided by two, and this ends up being just one-third. And I'll admit, that's a coincidence, the fact that it matches that number right there. But the radius is one-third. Circle this answer and we are done with this one. One more thing I want to say about this problem. For the ratio test, a lot of the times it will be one end converges, the other end diverges when you're testing the bounds. But technically, this could have been both converge, and they both get square brackets, or it could have been both diverge, and they both get parentheses. That's possible too. But most of the time, I see it, one gets square bracket, the other gets parentheses. And that's going to do it for this video. I will be talking more about power series in other videos in the future. You can find them on my website, which I'll have a link to in the description. So thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.